Today, I've got a couple complete builds for you, including soft plastic trailers. We've got a big brother jig and his little brother. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to SDG. Got some football jigs to build today. It is the dog days of summer. It is hot. Bass are not wanting to bite. It's been kind of a weird year. I mean, has it, is it just me? You guys feeling that too? I don't know what's going on, but it's strange and it seems like if you drag it slow, maybe you can get their attention. And if you downsize, maybe you can get their attention. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna build two different jigs. I've got a half ounce football jig and then his little quarter ounce brother. They're gonna look similar, but they will be different in their own right and we're going to shoot some custom trailers to go along with them. So let's turn to the vise and jump into this build. So in the vise, we've got a half ounce football head jig. We will be using a weed guard today. The paint is copper mine. We'll be tying with 210 denier flat wax nylon in dark brown. Pretty simple build here on the half ounce today. Got three different colors to blend in look pretty nice first of which is a personal favorite this is called texas craw it's kind of a copperish brown black shifty color love this got a half tab here i have um, split it in two we're going to do um, a quarter tab on the back and on the top we'll start with the back Make sure our lengths are okay. That looks good. Don't need to spread it out a ton. Just kind of get it. There we go. Doesn't need to go all the way around. We'll flip it and we'll do the same thing on top. Looks good. Next one, a full tab of Nature's Edge Pumpkin. It's just a regular pumpkin color. I'm gonna go all the way around the jig with this one. Flip it over. Could cut this in half, probably be a little bit easier to deal with since there's already silicone on here, but we'll manhandle it and get it around. There we go. Cool. And then uh, lastly, much like the Texas Craw, I've got a quarter or a half tab rather of gold. Uh, it might be satin gold, be another good one. I've seen that on Barlow's. I've cut that one in two as well. So we've got two quarter tabs. And just like the uh, Texas Craw, we're going to go top and bottom. And if we can spread this one out a little bit more to get maybe a little side coverage, I think that would be a benefit. So take your time on this one. Just move them around um, strand by strand. We were looking to place these accurately, at least I am. It's the beauty of working with thread that you can um, really be precise on where you want the silicone or the material in general to reside that looks good i'm going to pinch it so nothing moves and just tighten it up give it a couple turns and do the same thing on this side i think actually before i do that i'm going to go ahead and grab some clips and getting a little much on the strands trying to deal with all those so kind of get them out of my way and now we can put this guy down that looks good pinch it now this is the um, brightest right the lightest and brightest color that we're dealing with today but because we're putting it on last it will be toned down by the other colors as this 
skirt flips over. Let me get all these clipped in, get it nice and tight. And then we can finish our collar, our thread collar here. Get it all buttoned up and then move on to the little brother. All right, whip finish. Two, three, four, five. As always, some Loon water-based head cement to lock down our threads. And now we'll cut the uh, tabs. You can kind of group them up, doesn't have to be perfect. Just kind of group them up and cut them off as a half ounce. So I'm leaving them long. You can always trim them afterwards, especially once we get our our custom trailers on. We can trim them if need be. There we go. That's what she looks like. I like that copper head and the offset with some of these other, and it's got that black etching in it. Copper mine does. So it pulls out some of these black spots as well. When we get to the soft plastic, that black on the on the head, the black through here, will do really well to pull out some of the black flake that we'll use in our plastic. So, one down. Now let's turn our attention to the little brother. So here's his little brother. As I mentioned, quarter ounce. We'll also use a weed guard with this one. Same head color. We use the same brown that we just used. But we only have one material for this guy. And that is this beautiful red fox. Check that stuff out. Isn't that gorgeous? So you can see some of those light browns, um, lighter. It's not quite white. It's kind of an off-white. And if you look really close off your hand, you can actually see sprigs of black that are mixed throughout it. You can gather now why I chose what I chose. Right, some of those lighter tan, I was trying to get that with the gold, and then some of those more natural uh, colors, the black specks for the wispy black stuff. So if they're brothers, they kind of have to look alike a little bit. Let me cut some of this off, and uh, actually, no, I'm ahead of myself. Let's get a thread base down first, and then we will put our red fox on. A material this good you really don't need anything else so no flash no nothing but we are going to do this in two bunches I'm not gonna try to cut off enough and like move it all the way around the uh, the collar here no bueno you could maybe do that if this was on the uh, the hook shank alone but since we've got a, a lead collar that we're dealing with here I'll be doing this in two different clumps top and bottom all right I've got a clump um, cut out here. I'm going to size it up. See my fingers is all that under fur. So I'm just holding it by there figuring we're going to cut most of that off. It's going about what a half inch a little more past the hook which is good. It'll flare out some so we can afford a little bit of extra length and then get him right on there. not too tight but it is a good idea when you put natural material on especially with like bucktail as you manipulate it and move it around it's always a good idea to hold on to that bobbin with the other hand and keep light pressure pulling down on the jig head so that um, your material that um, your thread base doesn't loosen up and you lose all your material not quite as bad with this really light stuff like fox, but with bucktail, man, it's essential that you keep pressure on the whole time. You will lose it in a heartbeat. There we go. That looks good. Second clump. Let's measure this out against our back. Make sure that our lengths are similar. I think it's going to be right around there. Yeah. It's a little tricky. 
Just got to get around that hook bend or, or that hook without jabbing yourself. That looks good right there. Again, just a little bit of pressure on, uh, on that thread bobbin, holding it down just to make sure that you're always going to lose a little bit of hair, but as little as possible is the goal. And that looks pretty good to me. Trapped one there. And I like the color of this thread, this dark brown tobacco brown, dark brown, something like that, so much that I'm actually not going to cover it up. This would be, this is the whip finish, this would be a prime opportunity for a little um, rusty brown um, ice dub that I've used before with patterns like this, but I'm keeping it simple today. A simple little brother to a sim simple big brother. Let's get some Loon water-based head cement. All right, how about we take a look at these side by side. Here's our foxy little uh, little brother. Quarter ounce. No weed guard. We'll get a weed guard in there. And then his silicone big brother. Whoops. There we go. How about that? there looking good let me get some weed guards on these guys and let's turn our attention now to the soft plastics so we're going to do a laminate today our first color be the top color this is bait plastics 242 as usual here's what i'm thinking i haven't used it yet it's called brown oxide lure works color so don't want this super super dark we'll start off with Oh, 10 drops. Went eight. I got nervous. Don't want to overdo it. We can always add two more. I'm looking to offset or, or highlight rather sort of that brown and you'll see the more of a tan color today. Definitely need more. So, so that makes 10. Let's go 15. Yeah, maybe a little, I mean, that's pretty translucent. Kind of see, let's go five more. Sounds like our other color is ready to stir. Getting it warmed up for the first uh, conversion, gel phase conversion. There we go, yeah, I like that. So, before I get to the other color, I'm going to go with uh, my standard, um, this is large black. So this is a cup of Plastisol, um, quarter teaspoon of large black, and I love, uh, where is it, small black as well, 15 black to uh, give you some texture and some um, what, like dichotomy I guess I don't know between the large and the small and then playing off of the copper thought we'd add some 15 copper as well but just as a highlight so I'm only going to use a 16th of a teaspoon on this one I think that's going to look really sharp good so definitely setting up on me let me get the other one ready and we'll do our bottom color so for the bottom color um, what I'm thinking is this nice light off-white tan I think that's gonna go with the hair really well as well as some of those lighter aspects the gold in our in our bigger one pretty sure I'm gonna need every bit of 15 maybe even 20 so we're gonna go right to 15 
that actually looks pretty good. Yeah, I don't think I want to go any higher than that. 15 looks pretty good on this one. Can get a sense of the color. And to that, we're going to add just one eighth of medium black this time. A little texture for the underside. That looks really good. So I'll get these up to temp and shoot them in a second, but beforehand, let me show you the two molds that we're gonna to use today. All right, so for our big guy, we are going to shoot this beautiful mold by BTS. So this is the BTS 702 Craw. That's the bottom. It's great, about 3.75 inch craw, big flanges in the, uh, in the tips there, which makes it really neat too because the color actually darkens on just the tips because it gets thinner than the claws. And then that's the top. You can see I had to modify it a little bit. Maybe someday I'll tell you how and why I did that. But that is the top. Big beefy craw, one of my personal favorites. For the little guy, the epic two and a half inch Ned Craw. This guy is so stinking awesome. Obviously that's the top. That's the bottom, makes such a beautiful bait. It's gonna look awesome on our uh, finesse jig. And between the two, we should be all set for any situation. So we are all shot. Thought you guys might like to see uh, the inside of the block. Some guys like to see this. So our top color and our bottom color. This is from my N2 dual injector. So based on this, I think we've got a pretty dandy color going on here. Hopefully I shot it right. So let's find out. First up is the Big Daddy Craw, the BTS 702. Which side is it gonna come out on? Oh yeah. Ooh yeah. That looks awesome. Man, I love this craw. It's the one thing, you know, guys know I love Epic. It's the one thing that they don't have yet is a um, craw this kind of style and this size. Uh, word is that it's coming. A craw of much flappery, as they call it, is coming. But for now, oh man, yeah. This guy is going to work. Man, those look great. And I think they're gonna go with our jigs, or our uh, big jig, quite beautifully. Sweetness. All right, the two and a half Ned Craw. Did she turn out well? Oh man, such a beautiful craw. Woo! Even when it falls out of the mold, it's so pretty. Look at that guy. Oh, it shot perfect. Let's see if the bottom worked out. Oh, yeah. Money. Look at that. Wow. Man, I just, I love the juxtaposition. That was the word I was looking for before. Of that large and small flake together. I think it adds so much depth to the bait when you mix the two. And my other one. Yeah, here you go. Whoo. Those came out sweet. Let me get them on our jigs and give you guys some close-up shots of the final package. And then, of course, we got to take these on their platforms to the um, test tank and show you guys how they swim. you 
think our brothers, little brother, big brother, and their custom trailers can catch a couple of fish? I think they can. Guys, I had a lot of fun putting this one together for you. It was good to be back at the Vice. Hope you guys enjoyed the build from start to finish. If you'd like to see more just like it, then click right here. If you're curious about the name SDG, then click right here. Otherwise, until the next time. I'll see you guys in the shop.